Oh no, what is going on there? My SSD is just, it's so sad right now. There we go, we'll just cut that. <laughs> I just cleared hard drive space too. How are you guys doing? What if I turn it back on? No, it's so mad. <laughs> it's so mad. Anyways, okay, so this is this is Blender, of course, right? And this is kind of where we got with it. Uh, this was from the last stream. Walton, what's up? How you doing? So this is from the last stream. You broke it, dude. I don't, I don't know what I did. Um, so we got this guy, right? This is from the last stream, and while I like it, I feel like I'm still lacking a little bit of control. I mean. We could sit here and focus on it. I'll leave it up to you guys. We can change the title. Binary, how you doing? It's been a while. It's good to see you. So I'll leave it up to you guys in chat. Continue sculpting in, in Blender and like working through the, the issues and stuff of it or export this out, finish it up in ZBrush. Up to you guys. Follow your heart, dude. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just looking at chat to see what the uh, the average is. Just spam away. This is that famous last words. <laughs> just spam away. It's looking like ZBrush. Whoop. Make sure I got all this connected here. Maybe we can grab this too. Let's see. This is a split vote. I'm a ZBrush fan. Dude, what's going on, man? Mm. Mm. What is that number on my, what is that? A oh boy, dude, 19 months, oh my gosh. Thanks, man. All right, I think, I think it exported. Let's, uh, let's, let's check. I don't think that <laughs> I don't think I did things. Uh, let me see where it went. Blender tests. Okay, desktop blender tests. Oh my gosh, it did work. Uh, so I know you switched from Blender to Moto, to Blender from Moto a while back. I was thinking of doing the same. Uh, how did you get started on useful resources? Honestly, um, following their uh, the YouTube channel for them and um, getting used to like just trying to do stuff and then searching because I learned through like. I learned through trying to just do it and then uh, expanding from there. But we also, uh, we have some resources. We also have uh, Lucas. Lucas is doing videos as, as well. Ah, yeah, Tish, thank you. Let me do a new document with the, oh. You know what's crazy is when I'm in here, this is actually more comfortable. Ah, it's true. And then all the Blender people answer my questions live. <laughs> oh, it's so true. All right, let me kill this. I'm going to try because I'm getting real used to 
I'm getting used to this this whole blender sculpting thing. It's it's really nice. It's just a matter of getting used to it. So if we let's say we look at the subtools, you can see that they're all merged together. I guess it's because I selected all of them and exported as a as a single OBJ. That's um always forget the hotkeys, of course. But if we look at polygroups, if you press sh uh, Shift F, you get your your wireframe or your draw polyframe, which also color coordinates the individual sub uh, sub meshes. So if we hit auto group, you can see it separated them all out because it knows like containing wise which is which. Get this boy some H H polish. <laughs> oh yeah. So now that we have this selected, we have all the separate subgroups. We can just do a split, and you can do a group split. The other thing too is you can just split to parts. So you don't need a group anymore. I remember I totally forgot that uh, the split to parts exists. But uh, yeah, if you group split and OK, it'll just separate them all out. And we'll just Shift F to, to get rid of those. So we're going to need to, yeah, if you press N too, you can switch between all your subtools this way or like Alt clicking. This is what Blender is needing. It's super nice. Hang on. It sounded like the music was uh, was playing twice. That was really weird. All right. So I've also set this as my startup material now. So what you can do currently uh, in the most recent ZBrush, the 2019 one, you can just select a material that you like, and then down here you can do set, set as startup material, and then that'll always be your default. So you don't get that uh, that one that everyone loves, the nice red wax. So let's let's see if we can't. Wow, this is really weird going into ZBrush after this. So first, I think we will look at this base piece here. And if you shift click the, the mesh, you'll isolate it. I think we're going to need, I wish I could select multiple. I have to just do this and then like go down and turn the individual ones on. Cause you want to see where they're, where they're located at. Wow, this is way different. This feels very weird. I, this is crazy. I'm actually liking the camera controls of Blender's sculpting tools better. Okay, so let's press B here. Weird good, weird bad. Weird bad. Weird bad. I'm not comfortable again. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's one thing that everyone complains about with ZBrush. It tends to be the camera controls. Everyone wants, you know, they want the control. Oh, you hear, I hear Madu playing. I like ZBrush's camera as well, but man, I'm so used to having the control of uh, my 3D software. <laughs> so I think if we... Let's see here. So this is similar to the approach I was using with um, in Blender, where if you use the damn standard, right, and you could get these like creases, but if you hold down uh, Alt, you can go the other way. And uh, if you scale this up enough, you can use that to kind of like really block your shapes out, or, like kind of bring your shapes forward. Uh, let's see where where's the ground at? What? Is it this one? No. Oh, weird. Yeah, so this piece here actually looks BMV, remove. You know, I should pull up some, uh, whoa, some reference now, you know? I'm actually, I have an easier time with a mouse in ZBrush. Can you believe that? Um, 
So I kind of want to take a StarCraft Zerg surface approach to it. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's see where we're at here. This is a nice high res. We'll use this as inspiration. Where are you at, Pure Ref? What? Where are you? Oh, there it is. So like these types of uh, these types of shapes. Love this stuff. Tongue tree. Mouse and ZBrush, dude. <laughs> So if we look here, right, you've got this like kind of detail where it's it's kind of like a I mean it's it's basically a giant nail. So if these are if these details here are a bit more organic, we're also going to have to turn on some some dynamesh going on here. Hang on. Oh wow, I don't even have it plugged in anymore. Man, this is how long it's been, guys. So if these these detail, details here are more organic, we're gonna have to you know adjust accordingly. So damn standard. Let's uh, gotta clean up some of these shapes. Oops. And then I also really like. Oh, Oh man, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> I also really like um, the clay buildup. If you use it sparingly, you can smooth it out. The reason I like using that one is like, okay, so let's say let's say that this is the nail, right? We're going to have to use like maybe like a a chisel type of uh, trim. Let's let's use brush. So we'll go to trim and we'll go trim smooth border. This is the thing right now that uh, Blender is missing. I can't wait for them to have it. So if you go more like this, right, then we can get more of those. Uh, let's isolate this area as well. You can get more of that kind of chiseled look. And if you shrink this down and do alt, you can do it in a subtractive way. So if we have that, and then let's un let's uh, undo the masking. And then let's look at damn standard again. You could do details like this. You'll probably want to do this later. See, because you can invert it as well. Smooth that out. I think I'm going to want the trim smooth border on my shift for a little while. Because then I can I can bring a shape forward quite a bit and then I should be able to trim it back. Whoa. 
Only downside is you can't invert your... Hmm. That's going to be annoying. Anywho. Okay, so we got that. Then we do the, the clay buildup. We're kind of just... We're going to need to build up on this inside area here. What is going on there? It's like... There we go. Somehow it's masking. So you want this kind of clump type stuff that's here, right? And then up above it, let's just block these the shape out now. And you can see it kind of has this, they like to do this, this teardrop thing where they've got a spot here and then they go down and then over again. So they have this like extra little thing here. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, the joys of uh, switching software. You can see how I'm losing freaking camera control. Quilly Willy, what's up, man? How you doing, dude? So if we we really need to bring this the surface up, right? So it's all about that surface layering. And then everything's kind of goopy. This is a plant? Yeah, it's this weird, yeah. It's for the challenge that we're doing. Dude, you should make one. Cause, he, Cause I know you've got time. <laughs> so we're already running out of Resolution. We're gonna need. We're gonna need more. There we go. There's also you can see there's these little layers of gunk under the. It's kind of like how you have your fingernail and then you have your skin, but then you have the little like cuticle stuff in the right at the edge. Hold up, new challenge. The Empire Challenge, Smurf. Empire Challenge. Clarity, sorry, Clarity. So if you can like build these shapes up, right, then you're just kind of working the working them details from the ground up, literally. So if we shrink this down, now you can start to really kind of scoop in, right? And define those, define those shapes. We're gonna have to push this down as well and then scoop that. I think we'll do some stuff like this just so we can get some more sharp chiseled look. And then you can get your little scratches every once in a while. Here's that layering. This is why uh, sculpting isn't really a thing for environment artists. Dude, the amount of time this is gonna take is like crazy. Kind of getting the look. Give up on the mouse sculpting. I'm using a pen. <laughs> I can't win, man. I can't win. So if you make this, 
If you make this quite broad and then really lower the strength too, you can you can get some nice uh, shape build up. It's all about those shape build ups, man. This is a good way to do some cloth as well if you're if you're looking to get into that, and you're not trying to do any marvelous stuff. Yeah, see, and then there's that tension line. It's interesting. Yeah, it really depends on how you approach it. Right, so like you see all the all the details that I've done here, like this, like these details here, and like the sharp points and this curve here, you'll probably want to do that near the end. And like these smaller details, like really what I should do is block out all of those shapes before getting into these like these finer, these finer details like this. I think once I solve this though, I think I'll be in a pretty good spot to just kind of go for it. So I think if we did that look, that's pretty cool. You wouldn't want to do it everywhere. Do and you can see like uh the foot here. Like there's multiple nails in there as well. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, if I go in and uh, turn these all on, you can see where, where we're going with this uh, bin. ZBrush isn't letting me sculpt into the subtool, onto the subtool. You have to say, dude, it's pretty gross, man. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Beck, what's going on? How you doing? I would be sculpting, but this for some reason ZBrush isn't letting me sculpt on my onto the subtool. So you've got your subdivisions, right? Do you happen to have something masked ever so slightly? So like if you if you mask a little bit, you can get some weird issues where like just uh just go into the background and swipe real quick and just get try and get that. Fred, Fred, thanks, man. Thanks a lot, dude. Yeah, there's also hit T. Make sure you're in edit mode. So let's uh, let's block out the rest of these shapes, huh? If I had to do this, I would work lower res the modular parts, and I would mash together later. Yeah. Yeah, like do one of these and then just kind of smash them together. Like for example, these these two here are almost identical, right? And then like this this back piece here could totally be one of these ones. Like if we grab this one and turn perspective off and just snap to the side view here. And then is it alt? Yeah. Or control. Then you can just rotate this. And then uh, scale it down. You could do stuff like this. And then if you, I mean, if you did that, then you don't need to be sculpting that that back piece there. And you have the consistency, right? So if we go back to this one and we just kind of sculpt that stuff away. The nice thing about having those pieces separate as well is you can, you can, uh, oh, do I not have, <laughs> I don't have symmetry on. Oh no. I forget the uh how you trans transfer the the thing over, but we'll we'll look at that in a minute. That's so funny. I totally forgot about symmetry. Cause in Blender it's on by default when you're sculpting. Geometry modifies mirror and weld. Ugh. Oh, this is gross. This thing is so gross. Let me, uh, all right, let's, let's do it. 
Don't you have to have the uh, or sub tool master mirror? Yeah. Don't I have to like do this without the mask on? So it retains this one. I forget. It's been so long. Nah. No mask. What? Wait, what? Oh man, we're going down a rabbit hole, guys. As I always feel bad when we do this. Geometry, modify, topology. Geometry, modify, topology. Mirror and weld. What if you need to do it invert? Because if I do that, I lose it, right? Oh, it even is like correcting it a little bit. Oh, that's weird. That's why you go deformation. Ah, I see. I see. Thank you. Uh, so if we do that, and then there we go. So gross. You lose all this stuff, man. You lose all the stuff if you don't use it. See, and what I'll do with this actually is um, I can make this, maybe this is like a bone material, right? And this is more organic. So this is another kind of a bone type surface. So I could probably just do a clay build up and then um, kind of push this down. I'm going to build this part up. And because this this part here is like so prominent, I'm going to have to probably build. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on. Got a <laughs> symmetry. <laughs> You guys are my lifeblood. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it'll all try and stop you, man. Push this all down here. Oh, God. Forget how this works. There we go. It just uh, pushes it all into that. And I'll just swipe on that. There we go. Oh yeah, I could just scale it into itself too.
Oh yeah, there's some good ones on ArtStation. So this back piece here, mm, I wonder. Where's the, where's the terrain at? All right, cool. Yeah, because I think one thing I, I really like to do is like bring out these shapes really, really early and then uh, just make sure that I've got some like clear, clear definition on where stuff is at. Even if it's kind of softer. I like sketching. So with this stuff, I think I want some more like sinewy tension line stuff. Maybe uh, let's smooth that out. This is gross, man. I'm just gonna put these in for now, just so I can see things. And then, hmm. What's this for? Nathan, what's up, man? Uh, so it's just me trying to join in on the community fun with the the challenge for the the Empire stuff. Oh, Madu's barking at something. Man, there's some gross shapes starting to form here. I'm waiting for the phallic shapes to just really kick in. I mean, I'm making all these spheres and straight lines. It's just a matter of time. Man, I forgot how how much a uh, Wacom works your, your hand. <laughs> Preferably, you'd probably want these pieces to be their own uh, subtool. This music's getting kind of weird. I wonder if we can merge these together. I think this piece is telling me that it wants to be a, a nail thing. Oh, oh.
Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is why you'd want it to be a... Mm, this is why you'd want it to be a separate subtool so that you don't have to do this masking. Make me nail. Make me nail now. Do you know what I mean, though? Like, this is... Eh. I mean, I could, if I did, I grab this, right? And then, oh. And sharpen that up. I don't know if that's too thick. I just did an extract on a shape. Well, is that even? Oh no, it's the other way around. You can split, unmask, and then dynamesh it. It won't have a thickness though, will it? That's the problem, I think. So again, uh, Dynamesh masks it thick. Thick. All right, hang on here. Let's just get. So subtool split split uh, masked points. You could inflate, yeah, but I mean, then you lose the control of being able to pull like the the skin over it, right? Okay, so split masked. All right, there it is. Okay, so we got these pieces. And then you're saying dynamesh it and it'll add thickness. Oh, look at that. It kind of, ugh. The setup I have for sculpting like this? What do you mean setup? Maybe not. This one. <laughs> Can I not unsplit these? There it is. Okay. So if I, your computer. Um, so I think my computer stats are actually in the description tiles below the stream. So if I take these ones like this, right? Oh yeah, I usually don't modify the layout all, layout all that much. So you can extract and then you can control the, the thickness if I do this, right, extract. This is probably too, th oh man. I'm always doing that backwards. Is it this one? No, am I looking at this one? It's, yeah, I'm still massive. There you go, and then you hit accept. And then, there we go. My God. 
Yeah, I had to. You had to lower it. But it's weird because it's like, like, am I extra? What am I extracting? Am I extracting the mask? Am I extracting the other one? How you doing? Uh, is it a Marte or Marta? How's it going? How long have I been using ZBrush for? Oh man, for far too long. When it was ZBrush two point five, but how regularly is very low, because like I don't need to be using it right now. But that's why we stream, right? So we can try stuff. All right, that's more than enough. Oh yeah, am I gonna run into the problem where I'm modifying the inside? Gonna clay build up that jazz. Whoa, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. We just need to fill this in a little bit. I'm liking this song. There we go. Hooray. Okay. Yeah, so now that we now that we have these separated out, we need to have them as in reference to this because they're gonna be it's gonna be crazy at first, right? You see that? We also need to switch to this guy, undo the mask, and uh, push all this information in. It's this weird thing from uh, No Man's Sky. Whoop. What is going on there? Hang on. Oh, I have both of them. <laughs> so the extracted when I undid everything brought this one in. So we need to delete that. Game art, hopefully get my degree. Dude, Crazy Bear, that's awesome. Exciting times ahead. Whoops. What is going on there? Oh, it's here too. <laughs> All right. Oh, we don't need to do that. We'll just Jeez, this is probably pretty funny. You've been using a lot of ZBrush, haven't you? Uh, in your work. And you're trying to learn ZBrush and Autodesk Maya kill me. I mean, do you have to learn them both at the same time? It is constant, isn't it? Okay, so if we bring this like that. Okay, now we can push this stuff back. And I think we actually wanna 
I'm going to bring the nail out forward like this. Man, I forgot how fun ZBrush is. You don't use it a lot in your day-to-day -day, uh, in AAA. Most often, as an environment artist, it's not really what you need to be focusing on. Whoa, and then the song's like, focus. Yeah, see that control when it's separated, right? Like this, real nice. See, then we can switch to this one, turn this one back on, and then we can we can clay build up over the top of it. This side area here, I don't know how you. How we merge this in. Gross. It just isn't efficient, dude. Can you imagine if you just sculpt everything and then you could just throw it in the game? It's coming, it's not there yet, but it's on, it's on its way. Have you ever tried character art? Uh, if you actually, if you go to my um, art station, you can see a Hydralisk that I sculpted a long time ago. That was, again, that was me just trying to like dabble. I just pull this down. Big boy. <laughs> okay, we need to turn up the I'm actually going to split this too, I think. I think I'll split it right there. So there's a, um, minus the fact of what I'm doing here, uh, I think 
I'm getting close to actually starting my my next project. I should really finish that temple, but I'm just not interested. <laughs> That temple was pretty cool. I should probably just, there's, I mean, when I've got time, I should just sit there and uh, get it going. Maybe I can make some videos out of uh, building this scene out. I never intended to finish this scene though. And there's a there's a constant uh, tension in my head about like, oh, you should finish it because people on stream like to see finished things. <laughs> so there's that struggle. How do you know when something is finished? You have to accept it. You have to accept it for what it ended up becoming. And then you're like, all right, it's done. Like you build your presentation shots and you're, you're good to go, right? But uh, yeah, that can get difficult. Depending. Gross, man. What am I doing? <laughs> so I should probably double check on where the terrain is, right? Because I could be working on details that don't really matter. Yeah, see? 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 What have I done? None of this stuff down here matters. We're going to make it matter. Like, looks like a nail to me. One thing is that the stuff I was, I was talking about uh, the other the other day on stream is uh, making it look clearly as if uh, they're connected. So if you got like you've got that that crack there, right? Maybe you you do that with the nail. And then we need to go between that and trim smooth. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs>
Yeah, done is also when the producers tell you. <laughs> That's good. That's not so much a nail as it's like a piece of rock kind of crushed into a thing. I wonder what you can do with this piece here. I gotta look at this one too. We started looking at this one and then we just kind of got sidetracked. This guy. We don't have a. Whoa. Easy. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like coming up with these flatter uh, surfaces. Oh no. There we go. Almost did it again, Tish. That's interesting. This, this is really kind of feeling a lot more like um, like bone. And then I guess if you if you add these types of uh, details in here, it's probably all I need. curve was a little extreme like if I look at it from the side you can see how it's like scooping in there in a weird way I think I just kind of pull that pull that in switch this to make sure sure that that area feels like it's <clears throat> scooping in. Sunken colony vibes? Yeah, I can, I can feel that. Man, that brings that brings it back for sure. Whoa, hey. Bleh. Probably some good reference here too is like elephant elephant uh photography.
So one one thing where you can see it's kind of breaking down is I don't know how to like merge a lot of these shapes together, you know, in a way where they kind of make logical sense. I mean, I guess the whole thing's a little on the alien side, but you got to have some type of uh, logic to it. So like where this detail is and where it meets up with here just doesn't really make sense at all. If I could re redirect this one a little bit. Oh, I know the song that's coming up next on that. I don't know what. Oh, it's a different song. Whoa, I didn't know. Crazy. I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm in the mood for that one, but we're okay. Ah. Ah. Hey, thank you for the follow. Flame I6, dude, thanks. And Rome, thank you. Tej, I still can't believe 19 months. That's crazy, man. Like, that's proper crazy. So this one's weird. This is like a, I guess I'm gonna have to add some organic elements, maybe that are under the, under this like shell, this carapace, if you, if you will. It's already 9.08, guys. Relics, what's up, man? Uh, we're just working on this weird tentacle thing. Just having fun, you know? Just doing things. You got hit by one of these in No Man's Sky? Uh, they're pretty mean, man. They're not friendly, that's for sure. Okay, so we can we can probably focus on this one. Whoa, that's gross. So we need to so this this part here is pretty organic, right? So we need to make sure that we're using symmetry. <laughs> there you go. Um, we need to make sure that this kind of tucks in under the shell. I think we do it like this. Well, let's see here. And then the magic is in the these hard edges, these creases. Right, so maybe if I actually, if I do this, this type of stuff, and you get this kind of gross, sinewy looking junk here. And you have uh, these lines that are kind of coming from it. But then you have to cut, you have to cut it off and then make sure that this one's really emphasizes like a hard edge. I think that can look like it's going under there. Just make sure that this is nice and smoothed out. Yeah. Yeah, so that can kind of look like it's under the shell now. Oh, we probably need um, adaptive for this. Whoop. At way less strength. Dude, No Man's Sky is super fun, man. The newest update's really nice. Okay, I can soften this out now. And then... Hmm. Whoa, camera. Let's 
So I'm sharpen those edges up. Hold down Alt, you can fill in the, the gaps that you're seeing as well. Yeah, new update's sick, man. Really impressed with it. Get our quintessential uh, or iconic dynasty chip action going on here. You just just need to add a square square brush, and you're you're good. Oh yeah, the song is dark. This could be the last thing I ever say. It's like, wow, dude. All right, I guess I'll change channels then. <laughs> Oh, I see another opportunity. We got the hard edges here and uh, maybe something. I see a shape here. What is that? What is that? So remember, we got this like hard edge stuff going on right there. Maybe if you scoop this back here and then uh, we make sure that we chisel this and chisel this. It's a little bit of a harder edge. Then we can go through here. And just really like emphasize that. And if we do that, I think we can get away with these shapes. Dude, I kind of feel like Bob Ross for a second there. That was really weird. <laughs> just uh, happy little creases here. So how about those happy creases, guys? I'll make sure to uh, probably should be inflating those. It's all good, though. How you guys doing? People doing all right? Aliens. <laughs> it must be aliens. So if we do a like an inflate, where's that at? I N B I N B I N. There you go can inflate these kind of like pillows. If you inflate them enough, then you can add your little creases in here to kind of get the, to help support the, those inflation lines.
Ja. Still alive. Aliens, bro. Aliens. So gross. So gross. So I think you could go into this one. What you could like. I think you can. Can't you paint with a. Okay, we're going to move this out of the way. Can't you paint materials? What am I, come on. Come on. So you could fill objects with white, and then you've got your, your white color, and then if you go to this one and you fill that one with with white, you can see that now when you deselect them, they stay white. And I think if you go, let's see here. So if we, if we go to this bone material or type of surface, and we go to like skeleton, and then we, uh, Material channel. I think you can just paint a material. But you turn that off. Thing is, is I don't know if it feel, fills object. And then if I go to this one and then switch this to gold. Oh, it is. Okay, it's holding. Cool. Cool. So you get your, your bone material there. Thing is, is I don't know if you can, can you select this one and then just paint, paint materials? I don't think you can. So yeah, so the fill object actually fills the, see this is another reason you'd wanna separate these. So you don't wanna add, but you want your, you want RGB intensity on, right? So if I go, so I go here. Yeah, so I'm filling. Thing is, is you can't really see what you're doing, right? I guess you could paint a mask and then, and then you're like, yeah, cool. Cause like, if I go back to this now, I'm, see now it's like a per, that's gross. You don't, you don't want that. You don't want that. What is that madness? Oh, your podcast is done. Nice, dude. Thanks, man. If you guys haven't checked it out, um, Alex Bedeau's, uh podcast is pretty cool. I believe he just had his first level designer on. Yeah, see, this is gross. This is gross, guys. This is... Uh, not, not a fan of that. Godcast. What's going on, man? Dude, I'm like, what is this? I'm like sweaty or something? What's happening here? This thing's gross though. I'm uh, I'm down though. It's looking cool. Anyways, we're gonna just uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clear that, and then we're gonna go to this one. We're gonna clear that. I can't clear it. Why? Yeah, this thing's getting nasty. Anyways, it's this has been a pretty fun one so far. Side effects, what's going on? How you doing? How are things? Is this a Z Blender? No, this is uh this is just ZBrush. Doing great? Nice. Looks like the stream delay is really nice right now too, so that's good. I'm doing good. 
Um, I think what I'm going to do, so I'm going to finish sculpting this. We're going to finish this on, on stream. I'll finish it. I don't know what day that'll be. This is why we're doing three streams a week now. Uh, so I can actually get some, some actual work done. Um, we're going to finish this. I'll make the low poly probably through auto like decimation and whatnot, and then we'll just uh, we'll texture it in Substance Painter. We'll just do the full the full shebang, the full pass. You got some uh, new PC parts coming in next week. Oh man, I need new PC parts. Yeah, true guy, I'll only work on this during the stream. Definitely. I think, uh, so here's a question. After I've done all of that and I've recorded all of it, right? Do you guys want it condensed into a single video? Do you want, do you want it sped up with voiceover over it? Like what do you, you know, what, what are you feeling? Or do you just want the raw footage all compiled together as one video? Because it, it's tough, right? It's tough. Obviously, I cut all this banter out, right? So I'd like to edit the footage a little more often just so that you guys aren't waffling through, uh, waffling through um, really long videos on YouTube as much. That'd be cool if we could get away from that. They can be important. They can also be very lengthy and you want to skip through them. And you don't want just another speed sculpt. This is very true. I'm trying to think here. What am I doing? Geometry. What if I made the video, but then I posted it twice? <laughs> one was super sped up and then one wasn't. I mean, I guess you can speed it up yourself in, on YouTube, right? It's weird not seeing me in Blender. I can show you where we're at. How's it going, dude? How's your cast? Oh, look, see, I'm working on details you're not even seeing. Man. What is happening? Oh. I 
I feel like this is not symmetrical. In some degree it wasn't. I just corrected it. Got a nice little seam there. It's inflatable, guys. It's inflatable. Uh, add those suckers on there. Gross. So I need, it'll matter if I'm trying to get some sculpting done, right? Like if I need to get those main shapes on there, I just go for it. Check the link. Like eventually I probably want to do it. I wonder, um, yeah, see, I need that. I need that visual context. So gross. Almost had a sucker there. Tobias, what's up, man? This area here, we need to, there needs to be some better interaction between these two shapes here. Let's see here. You know what I'm saying? Like these, like this guy needs to be like, needs to be like they're hugging. There we go.
Oh, hello there. What's up, Grub? How you doing? Well, that's kind of interesting. Gross. Gross. Bonjour. Bonjour. How's it going? Oh, yeah. This is pretty organic. Can't forget about that. Good evening. Nine Mile. What's going on, man? How's it going? Oh. How are things? Aha. I don't know what you're saying, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is that? Oh, God. Rawr. See, this is where I could be like, oh, maybe I'll just grab that one that I was sculpting earlier and see if I can use it again. So if we grab, if we grab this one, and then you move it, Let's go. Uh, Subtool, split a Rooney, groups split to similar, split unmasked. There you go. Okay, so if we grab this one that's sculpted, this one's softer, and then let's group split, hit okay. Oh, nice. All right, split similar parts. That didn't help me at all. <laughs> Finally giving in. What are you talking about, man? 
I've been living the world this whole time. Uh, let's see here. Polygroups. Polygroups. Oh, I always forget that you can shift click these. If you shift click a, a sub menu, you can multi open. You can see, and it, it doesn't hop around either. Um, auto group, sub tool, group split. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Okay, this one. Shift F, all right, it's got its own groups. Group split, there we go. There we go. Okay, and then we want this one. This one we don't. This one we will turn off. Yeah, this one kind of works. I don't think we want those little inside areas though. We can sculpt those away though. world guys Yeah, it's true. Uh, so ZBrush is not as crazy as it looks. I just can't. It's okay, man. Getting heads down and need to chill stream up in the background. How are you doing? Oh, nice. Heads down mode. Dude. Those are stressful and exciting. Uh, well, you got me at least for another 15 minutes. Yeah, the, uh, the videos from Pixelogic are actually really good uh, that they have on their website. You can get some pretty good uh, base skills for, uh, for ZBrush through that. They also have a really good um, Twitch channel, actually.
So. Oh no, what is this? Not again. Weirdest sci-fi movie I've ever seen. That's a that's a tough one. I mean Slither was pretty weird. But it was more like gross, right? But there's some Slither is up there, man. It kind of got into under my skin. I'm just like, oh, dude, when they show the twins and they're choking. Not cool, man. Not cool. <laughs> uh, you see what I did there? Right under the skin. So this guy... I think I'm going to start coloring some things. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna set this to white. We're gonna do fill object, and then I'm going to do RGB is on, no sculpting, and then we can just kind of go in. Oh, what am I doing here? Hang on. So if we go here, sub tool. We wanna make sure this guy. So let's say this was our, our piece, right? You can fill the object, and then if we go in and add like some purples, you can. Why am I not? Wait, what? I'm very confused now. Because you do clay tubes, turn this off. I believe you just turn RGB on, right? And you got your color here. And then when you paint, there it is. There it is. Whoa. Poly painting is fun, man. So if I fill this object and then go in and let's let's go with like maybe um, just a standard and then we start using maybe some more like, let's see what this color looks like. That's uh, not, it's too subtle. Yeah, yeah. So we can, uh, Z intensity of course is low. We can, so just wanna get that little color hit here. And then on the sides, you probably want something a little bit more bloody. This airbrush look I freaking love. So if you do stuff like this, man, you can get some cool looking subtle colors. This is a good bit, like this could be a pretty good base for um, where things are gonna be at when you, when you start uh, texturing. Yeah, 
You have to remember too that um, what was I gonna say? Those colors are um, they're per vertex, right? Oh, fill object, make sure this is at 100 here. Uh, we probably want some more. So you could do that, and then when you go to this guy, so once you fill the object on that, maybe you can go more gray. And paint this up. So when I look at this though, I'm like, ah, oh, you need the, you need that, that purpley gunky crap in the middle, or on the edge, like in here. See, and this is when you start running into the resolution issue. Where like you need more geo just to get your gradients in. <clears throat> yeah, that stuff's fun, man. It's funny too, because when you look at the flat, flat color, you're like, what? What's even happening down there? Gross. This one's pretty cool. Anywho, we got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I think we're gonna delete this one. Is that the right one though? That's the question. Yeah, this is the one we we're supposed to delete. If not, oh well. Oh, Nathan, I'm just dinking around. There's no reason for me to do the color. You could, um, though you could, if you wanted to, which I should probably do this, is I should do color maps through here. So I should vertex paint like where bone is and where a certain flesh type is and then another skin type. And then when I export out this mesh for the bake, that vertex color will be retained as like a color map, right? That's helpful. But doing some really simple stuff like this helps you visualize, and that's really important. Because see, like this piece, even though this is like its own, right? It's probably important that I, uh, that I color pick the purple and fill these in with that purple color so that I know where the, the hard shell is. Right, this stuff here. Kind of 
Cause then I'll then I'll know, right? Too bright for me. <laughs> oh yeah, if you need to, um, so if, if I've got this selected right and I'm moving, what is going on here? So if I'm moving this around, right? If you hold down Alt and move, you can actually push it, push it away from you in the uh, normal of of what's selected so like like this face here or average normal space this is going forward and backwards so if you need to like push a shape inward you can just focus on that and then just alt alt move your uh, brush and it'll go it'll go inward really really helpful for some specific things like this one here like I can just switch to this and alt push that in. Maybe I should make sure that this symmetry is on. <laughs> Every subtool, man, it's like a per subtool symmetry is the choice, I guess. But uh, yeah. This one's interesting because you could you could uh, push some more organic shapes on that. And Nathan, that's that's not a dumb question, man. How you doing, by the way? What are you up to these days? Working on a robot character for, for your game? You're working on your own game? Dude, that's awesome. Swift Loop, it's nice to see you. How you doing? Thanks for joining the community. Um Yeah, dude, my uh I need to get a standing desk or one that I can control the height of, that would be super nice. Same cool trick with clay buildup, alpha to off embed, depth to five. Let's, let's check it out. How you doing, Powick? Uh, okay, so you just got one yesterday. It's amazing. Highly recommend. Yeah, I have one at work, dude. They're so useful. All right, so we got clay build up. Turn the alpha off. Subtract to and embed by five. Is that what you're talking about? Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. So it's. You soften that up. Depth five. Oh, in the brush. Set to five. Versus. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, God.
Yeah, standing desks are real nice. Uh, and I mean, you shouldn't be standing all the time, but it's it's important to go back and back and forth between standing and sitting. Walking around is also highly, highly suggest that stuff. This is almost like rock, isn't it? So I think next stream we'll probably finish the, the sculpting here, uh, which is actually is tomorrow. There won't be any um, Discord critiques or portfolios tomorrow. There will just be more focus streams. So the goal is we'll get the high poly done tomorrow on this. And then um, we can look at ways to remesh in ZBrush. I mean, we can look at it now too. We got a few minutes. So I want to show you some cool stuff. So like this piece, for example, Ugh, gross. Um, when they added the uh, gizmo, they also added this really cool feature here. So if you hold down alt, you can move this, you can move this stuff around freely. If not, then it moves it, right? Uh, home goes to the center of the world, and I think this one goes to the center of the mesh. Goes to unmask mesh center, and then if you click this one, you can reset the orientation. So if you got weird like this, you can just doop, just make sure you got alt on, or you've checked that. Uh, but this gear thing here, it's sick. There's some sick stuff in here. So if you got this piece right, you can go in and you can actually, um, you can decimate from inside up here and it's just like oh sorry hang on it's like don't have things masked uh wait sorry unmasked part it's not fit currently set symmetry please turn off symmetry there you go okay symmetry is off so you click that guy you get this weird weird gizmo thing and if you mouse over these you can see down here what they are right so if you want symmetry on and whatnot so maybe we want maybe we want X on, so you just grab it and you pull it out. So now you can see because it's further out, it's symmetry on X is on. Um, this guy here, poly paint weight, use poly painting. This, those are those are things. It's basically like use a poly paint to uh, help retain details. But this part right here, target poly count. You see that target? Target polygons count. So you grab this and just start pulling on it. Let's say we want this piece to be somewhere around like 6,000. You just let go. We'll let it analyze this mesh. Give it a second here. And then there it is. Like it obviously did not retain the poly paint, but you get a pretty decent, decent mesh here. This has been in here since 2019, maybe even earlier. But it's nice because it's already done the calculation. So you can just grab this and lower it to, let's say, 22. So you can dynamically just sit here and kind of fudge the numbers until you get what you're looking for. So if you're like, all right, yeah, that that looks good enough, right? So then you just uh, you just hit the move key again. You go to the gizmo, and then you just accept. And now your mesh is, yeah, I think it was 2018. And now you have your this mesh, right? And you can do some some pretty nice thing so like say say you wanted to uh, we'll do this real quick and then I'll go um, let's say you grab this guy and uh, this guy or actually the the nail here is perfect let me find the nail now okay so we got these two right so you could go to this one and then you could uh, merge down. Okay. So these are now on the same uh, subtool. You can do this where you do a remesh, remesh by Dynamesh. And I don't know, let's, let's put it high, right? So see how it's merged them together? So if you have your high poly, keep that separate, merge these together. So dupe it off, merge these together, then hit this, accept it, and then go back here and then do a remesh, and then get your remesh volume to the number you want. And it'll retain the information as if they're one mesh, right? So it's kind of like melting your assets together. And you can get this, you can probably get this pretty low. 
before it starts to get janky. And you want to watch out for those those edges getting too low poly. Yeah, and then you just go here and you would accept that, and then you got your your remesh. So we'll probably be merging a lot of those together and just remeshing them. Smart mask transpose. Anyways, I gotta get out of here, guys. I will see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna finish sculpting this guy tomorrow, and then uh, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Nova, Nova Bjorn. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow then, huh? Same time as uh, today. I'll see you next time, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.